We're at the Chattahoochee Nature Center, and we're trying to find out what a watershed is. First victim, I need you to tell me what a watershed is. Do you have any idea? Watershed? A watershed where people go to the bathroom? Sweating, I guess. <laughs> Something to do with sweating? Uh-huh. Like after you run, when you... You perspire, yeah. And then you shed it? Uh-huh. We wanted to ask you if, if you knew what a watershed was. A watershed? Yeah. Is it kind of like the rain? Do you know what a watershed is? A shed that holds water. Come here for a second. I want to ask you something. Do you know what a watershed is? No. No. Do you have any idea? What do you think it has something to do with? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what a watershed is? Yeah. That's just a drain pool, I guess you'd say, or the drain area is where the water, the rainwater drains into the river. Correct. That's a great answer. A watershed is that area of land that drains to a body of water, be that if it's a river, a stream, the ocean, an estuary, a bay. Wherever you live drains to some water body and you live in a watershed, so everyone lives in a watershed. And in this modern industrial age, our water sources are becoming more contaminated with each passing year. The biggest water quality problem that we have in the nation today is polluted runoff. All water east of the Continental Divide drains to the Atlantic, while water west of the Divide flows to the Pacific. And one drop of rain can cross many different watersheds along the way. As runoff flows into rivers, streams, and storm drains, the water picks up trash, dirt, bacteria, toxic chemicals, and fertilizers, creating a soup of pollutants that is extremely hazardous to the environment. And the consequences of polluted runoff exist worldwide. The UN estimate is that there's about a billion people on the planet right now who don't have adequate access to fresh water. 97% of all water on Earth is salty ocean water. Of the remaining 3% that's fresh, over two-thirds is frozen in glaciers and polar ice. That leaves less than 1% of all the planet's water for our use. I predict in the future that some of the U.S. water needs are going to come through pipeline because we have just overused our supply. To address the complex threats facing U.S. water resources, the Environmental Protection Agency recommends adopting a watershed approach. We're trying to reconnect some of the uh, river. It's a method that looks at each watershed for its own unique set of environmental challenges and solutions. In many cases, people mistakenly identify large discharge pipes in the water as the problem. But that may not be the problem. It may be coming from agricultural runoff. It may be coming from stormwater runoff over parking lots and impervious surfaces. Every watershed is different, and you need to look at each watershed in its own terms and then think systematically about how you remediate, how you clean up that watershed.